you know, if you work for the BBC and you've been made redundant through these cuts, don't be angry at people like us who are fighting the BBC. Be angry at the BBC themselves for making bad decisions. It's their bad decisions. Hi, it's me again. And we've all been saying that if Tim Davey can't run his media empire on 3.2 billion quid a year, he's probably not the man for the job. What's he saying? He's saying there's like a 285 million quid black hole. How does that work then? You created that black hole, mate. We gift you, not me, and hopefully not you, 3.2 billion quid a year. And you've still got a shortfall. What is going on? We lead from the top, right? And it seems that he's been listening because of this headline. Wielded an axe. BBC boss Tim Davies slashes 1,000 jobs. It wasn't that long ago that I was talking about him slashing, what was it, 475 people he sacked from BBC News. And it begged the question, you know, what were they doing if you can just get rid of them like that? And how many more are left? And it's still the same questions here. So he sacked 1,000 people. If you can survive without that 1,000 people, why did you have them in the first place? BBC World News and BBC News will merge to create a single 24-hour channel serving both the UK and international audiences. Regional TV news in Oxford and Cambridge will also be devolved to the Southampton and Norwich operations, respectively. Right, so one of the main things that people bang on to me about when they're defending the BBC is the local news and stuff, saying who else is going to do it? Everything else is gone. Do we want local news? You've got to look at the BBC. There you go. They're already starting to amalgamate it into different units. So if you live in Oxford now or Cambridge, your news will be coming from either Southampton or Norwich. How's that local news? So you can't defend that anymore. The BBC don't care about that anymore. So that's one defence gone, isn't it? And you know, why do they have so much news stuff? I mean, they employ people all over the world just to sit in offices all over the world, pay them a good wage, have to pay for them to live there, they have to have offices there, all the equipment. Why? Most other news channels have deals with other foreign news channels so they can swap correspondence. If something happens in London and an American news channel needs some London coverage, they can use one of the BBC people. Do you know what I mean? Sky News do it. Why do the BBC need those offices all over the place? Hopefully that's part of the thousand, thousand that are going. It's a big cut though, isn't it? A thousand. We give, you know, fair dues to him. That's a big cut. The first phase of cuts will total £500 million in annual saving and reinvestment, £200 million of which goes towards bridging the £285 million annual shortfall. A shortfall that he's created. You know, I earn so much money a month, okay? And I have to live within those means. I'd love to have a cleaner and a private chef to save me doing those things. But I can't afford them. That would put me in a deficit. He gets 3.2 billion quid a year and he's getting a shortfall of 285. You've got to learn to live within your means or find a way to make more money. You run a license fee, do some advertising, work harder for it. Although to be fair, if you did advertising, you wouldn't get 3.2 billion a year. And that's why he doesn't want to give it up. Right? That's why. Mr. Davey has overseen a slimming down of the corporation since he took over from Lord Hall in September 2020, with it losing some 1,200 staff over the last 18 months. So out of those 1,000 staff that are being got rid of, I would imagine quite a few of them are like you and me, just normal, everyday people working for a business, doing a nine-to-five, trying to pay the rent, trying to pay the mortgage. And I've got some sympathy for that. But they should be really angry too. Because let's say you work for the BBC in an admin role and you get, what, 20, 25 grand a year. And you've just been made redundant. And yet, he still keeps on Lineker at 1.3 million a year. Pointlessly. Pointlessly. How many admin staff could be funded by cutting just Lineker? You know, if you work for the BBC and you've been made redundant through these cuts, don't be angry at people like us who are fighting the BBC. Be angry at the BBC themselves for making bad decisions. It's their bad decisions that have put you out of work. And hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to find another job quite quickly and easily and you won't have to worry about the BBC going down. And if they have made you redundant, then stop paying your licence fee because they've just stitched you right up. They're still paying Lineker, but they can't pay you. So what do you think about this then? I'm intrigued to see how many more jobs are going to go. I mean, it says here slashing a thousand jobs. And then it says here, he's overseen 1,200 staff going. 
But there was a new story, I'll try and dig it out, I made a video about it, where he cut 475 staff. So just for that and that, it should be 1,400, right? They're saying 1,200 here, so something's wrong. Probably the Express. Probably the Express, to be fair. But I don't know. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below, because the BBC is dying, isn't it? It is dying, you can feel it. And it's good, I'm quite happy about it. I'm sad for the normal everyday people that have lost their jobs, and I do hope they find another job quite quickly. Of course I do, of course I do. But if it was me, I'd be really, really angry, as I said, that they're sacking me off for my 25 grand a year, but still keeping Lineker. How many 25 grands a year fits into Lineker's salary? It should make these people sick, shouldn't it? Now let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and that way, hopefully, I'll get to see you in another video again soon. Bye-bye. Ta-da.